Okay, this is my first Amperac. Uh, give you a look at it here. Four or six slides. Two slides in and out. Behind the main board, let me grab that. you get to to adjust your amp but I don't like this this one I don't like how open I don't like how that looks so I, I'm gonna remake it this will be the new piece that goes in here and uh, this will have a piece of MDF through here attached to this board because I've got glass in here you can see If I made if I made this piece come all the way out, uh, it wouldn't slide through because of course it would hit the glass here. So what I'll do is I'll attach a piece here. Okay, new rack is finished. Let's see how it looks a lot nicer from the side now. And uh, we'll slide it in now. Now all I need to do is fit this missing piece here uh, and it'll be glued on to the, the front glass piece so everything can slide through then you'll have a you see one of my LED strips ready to be here this LED strip will hang up here and light the amp chamber and there's already a strip in here for lighting up the hertz if you're wondering why this is black he's gonna paint all this uh, but it was going to be too hard for him to paint this piece once all this was assembled. So I agreed to go ahead and just paint this piece for him. Okay, this is the amp rack. You can see I've already located his screws for him. I didn't drill them all the way through in case the measurements weren't exactly right. So but what this does is this lets him know somewhere in this center of this hole that's about where this the amp will will mount uh, the back is cut out so it can have more airflow behind the amplifier the bottom is cut out so the, we need the amp to sink down as low as possible because we didn't want to cover up the interior window for the subwoofer so at, after doing all the drawings um, turns out if you just sink the amplifier down half an inch you get you get the best uh, possible view so that's why this is cut out this will also aid in uh, more cooling because the amp won't be sitting right up against MDF so it can breathe as best as possible um, this piece protrudes out so that it can slide in this 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 region here and stay flat from here to here and keep that pressure tight at the at the bottom and then again these were added so that it could be tight against the top uh, after he puts it in if he notice it's still rattling or it's moving a little bit he can take after everything is set up and going he can take the sub back out and run run a screw run a screw through the back side here and that should grab that will grab on That'll grab onto the back right about here and pull that up against the wall. All in all though, a really nice way to integrate your amplifier into your box. Okay, so the uh, amp, the Austin box is done and it comes with this, um, this amp drawer. And of course this part slides in and out through here. Uh, I had two two of these drawers and I remade remade it again. The uh, first drawer, um, I added these. I added these pieces so that when the drawer goes in, it's nice and tight and can't rattle. 
Um, this this piece slides through here. And uh, show you how that works. Like I say it's really tight, tight for a reason. But basically that's it. His amp mounts right here. I've already I've already centered up his holes. His amplifier will also sit down inside uh, just below this surface. The reason for that is so we can get the window to sit right. And there you can see there's what it looks like with the amp rack installed and basically his amp will be everywhere that you see that piece of wood. Um, the side show you the side there um, everything has been it looks like a crack but it's really not it's rounded over so that each time if, if you made that and and didn't round that over every time you pulled this in and out it would it might try to catch and peel away and break off a layer um, it also helps to guide it in and get it going in there um, like I said I added these pieces before these first pieces were not here and um, I added them so that you can see the rack won't rattle that's how that works and it pulls out just like that put some power back on it now Um, he'll have a Hertz 12 inch subwoofer in the chamber behind there and that window will display about the top one third of the sub magnet and a view. Um, at first he just wanted a box with and uh, we had discussed just putting a piece of glass to see the back of the amplifier and he wanted um, he wanted a place to mount his amplifier uh, so he had thought about making a box in front of this box and putting his amp in it. I told him that would end up looking like a display case. Uh, it would not look good. So I said, let's, uh, let's lean your amp back inside here and put it behind a piece of glass. And then I'll make you some kind of a, uh, of a board that slides uh, in and out. Uh, one of the first things I thought up of doing was putting a groove right here and the board just slid in the groove in and out but that was not going to be as nice as doing it this way for the simple fact that the board would flip flop on the inside so it needed a way to be to be where you could not that would not happen and you can see this cord of course it'll slide both ways but got this wire but it's the uh, pigtail for the, the lights gets in the way. You have to be very careful not to jerk it out and I made a very robust uh, clip so that you could not jerk the LEDs out of where everything is soldered up together and your LEDs quit working. Here you can see the pigtail for your wiring. Um, went ahead and put a clip here and tied the knot behind it. I didn't want you to be able to jerk this out if you ever forget to unhook it or it gets uh, in a bind so that it won't jerk all your wires out because you're going to have it just, you know, just to be a pain to try to resolder all that. Now, now you can jerk on it all you want. You're, gonna, you're never going to pull all that out. Okay. GTR and it's a very the car has two two vents cloth grills in the middle of the armrest and so this sub will shoot through through the cloth armrest from the trunk from this side and um, it only needs um, recommended venting for that sub is only 
16 liters, which works out to be not even a little over half a cube. Uh, this box is just over three quarters of a cube. After modeling it several times, uh, I noticed that you didn't take much of a hit. Uh, the frequency changed not even a quarter, a quarter of a frequency every time. So we just left it at what we ended up with on the inside. The reason why this is painted black on the inside is he's going to paint the whole box. But it was going to be too hard for him to tape off the glass on the inside and paint that part. So I went ahead and just painted it uh, that for him. So he'll be able to paint the rest of it fairly easily. And um, more builds on the way. Obviously one here in the background. Um, this is going in a Dodge Ram in the armrest area. And it'll have uh, glass looking down through it. Uh, seeing the two sundowns. And then you'll have a glass window right there. But that'll be another video that I'll show you soon. Keep subscribing.